I live and work in a very small town, so uh, oftentimes I'll be at the grocery store and I'll, I'll strike up conversations with folks and ask me, what are you teaching this semester? And what are your challenges? And I'll corner them later at the grocery store, uh, you know, say, I've got this new technology that can absolutely make your life more interesting and engaging. For me, the most exciting part of this is when faculty say yes, and they agree to take that journey with me. One faculty member in particular said to me, well, you pushed me off the cliff. And I said, well, I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Uh, he said, no, no, it was, it was good because, you know, we, we sort of encourage faculty and we give them the tools, hopefully, uh, to make that jump. But ultimately, faculty have to say, yes, I want to do this and, and I'm, I'm ready to start it. So we have to, to do that piece of it. One of the things I told you I did was crowdsource the definition of innovation in four words or less. Risk, fail, iterate, learn. Uh, and creating a, 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 a workspace uh, for both students and faculty and our staff to feel comfortable with that fail piece. Because oftentimes when we're at work, we don't, let, we, we don't embrace failure, right? The first time we tried to Twitter in the classroom, it failed miserably, miserably. And the faculty member had been reluctant to try it anyway. Uh, and he came back and said, well, this didn't work. And I said, okay, so let, let's review this. And, and, and we did learn from that experience. Um, and we've had other faculty that have, have run, in, run with it and embraced it and had great success. I think my growth in my career has been benefited by being able to talk with people and have those conversations. What is it that you want your students to be able to know and do at the end of the day and the end of the semester? And how can we help you get there? So partnering with. Certainly the opportunities I've had since being at Virginia Tech have been invaluable. Uh, involvement in ELI, uh, being able to be a, 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 have a seat at the table at the ELI advisory board, uh, it really uh, being surrounded by smart people with really interesting ideas was um, a, a huge boost in, in being able to say, I belong at this table. And the participation in the Fry Institute, so the now leading change uh, institute, uh, was truly a, a, a life-changing experience. I was certainly honored and uh, humbled by this. There's some some good folks that have really amazing folks that have come before us, Mac and Melissa, uh, and Baron, my my co-winner this year. Uh, amazing people with really interesting things happening. So I, I'm not sure that I feel worthy every day, but I think that it's it's nice to be recognized for the contribution to the community. Uh, it's nice when uh, your colleagues recognize that. Uh, the passion and the hard work and the excitement about what you do, um, it tr truly has made a difference. And, and for me, um, you know, as, as, as the materials were put together and, and folks asked, you know, where have you made a difference? Um, listening to those conversations with faculty and that said, you know, you've helped me change the way I've, I've taught or you, you've made me want to get up and come to class every day. To me, that was, that was the really cool piece of this. Mm -hmm.